Welcome, friends, to Daily Moments of Inspiration. You know, the winter is now past. Don't you feel good? Don't you feel wonderful? The winter is now past, friends. We went through a hard winter, but now spring is in the air. Now you look and you see the daffodils blooming, and, and you see the John Quills blooming, and you see beautiful bright leaves coming out on the tops of the trees, and you see other trees are in bloom and, and the beautiful colors of the springtime. And so the strong, horrible winter time is now past. The cold and the dreary of the winter is now past. But you know, even as there is a natural winter time, you know that there is a spiritual winter time that also comes in the lives of the children of God. Because as God sends in the natural, God sends a winter time in which the trees die, the flowers die, the grass turns uh, to a gray color and, and a brown color and loses its beautiful green. And all these things come to pass. But friends, there's a springtime that comes. And thank God that he sends a springtime to his children. I want you to listen to what Isaiah the prophet said in the 41st chapter beginning with the 8th verse. It says, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. You know, as you went through a winter time of life, did you feel like you were cast away? Did you feel like you were rejected and going through such a time of hardship? Maybe you did go through a time of hardship. I've gone through times of hardship. And I'm sure you as Christians, you have also gone through times of great hardship. When you were trying to live for God, trying to do the best you can. You know, I'm reminded about what a man of God said one time and how that he spoke to me. And he said this, it seems like, he said, for every time that God opens a door, for every door the Lord opens in my life, it seems like the devil opens four or five also. You know what? Satan is trying to hinder the work of God. He does everything that he can to hinder you, to hinder you in your spiritual walk, to hinder you in your walk in God, to discourage you. And if he sees that you are a threat to his kingdom, he'll do everything in his power to hinder or turn you aside. But friends, Thank God for the victory that overcometh the world, which is our faith. And that is the faith in Jesus Christ and the faith of Jesus Christ, which he places within his children. It says, Thou art my servant, and thou art my chosen, and I have chosen thee, and I have not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded, and they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto me, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob. You know, we're just like low worms. We're just as nothing. We're, the, we're worms, no more than worms. But God says, Fear not, thou worm, Jacob. It says, Ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Though we're as nothing, and we're deserving of nothing, the great God that created us, and we walked in our own ways and did our own thing and, and strayed away from God, but yet we're the sheep of his pasture. And Jesus came to seek the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And so he came to seek and to save them that were lost. 
Praise God, friends. Hallelujah. Though you were lost and though you were entangled and ensnared in a wilderness and ensnared in the bush and ensnared in the chamiso and ensnared in the, in the things of the desert and in the cactus, Friends, he sent Jesus Christ came to seek the good shepherd, to seek and to save thee and to bring thee back and to bless thee. And it says, when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will heal, hear, hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. And so God is open unto our prayer. He's open unto our plea. And when he sees that we were them that were called before the foundation of the world, we whose names are on the book of life, the elect, the chosen of God, when we hear that voice calling says, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give thee rest. And God saw us from before the foundation of the world and knew that we would respond to the hearing of the gospel. We he would respond to it when we heard the gospel preached, the gospel of salvation. And he says, I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys, and I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. He's going to give you water, water in the wilderness, water out of the rock, water in that dry place that you've been walking through. And he says, and I'll plant in the wilderness the cedar and the shitta tree and the myrtle and the oil tree. And I'll set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Thank God that we have a God that brings us out. And when you're going through the dry places of your life, dry spiritually, dry, dry, dry. Friends, there's water for you. And that water brings an everlasting life. It'll satisfy your soul. Drink of the living waters, which is Jesus Christ and the Word of God. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. The winter is now past. The spring is here. The flowers are blooming. Let your limbs stretch out and let it bring forth leaves and let it bring forth fruit unto life everlasting. God bless you, my brother and my sister.